All right. Um, we've got a whole sack full of trash puppies here. These are Penelope's babies. And as you can see, they are ready to go out into the wild. What we're fixing to do here is, I guess I'm gonna go get my gloves and then we're gonna start microchipping these. We'll take the weight and everything, stop being a jerk. So, and then I guess I'll start with the nice ones. Stop it. So there are five of them. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to male, female, female, and then we're gonna get a weight on them. So one pound, 13 ounces. And then we're gonna work our chips in here. I'm gonna stick you in there for one minute while I get the microchip open. And what this is gonna do here is this helps us keep track of them if they should come back. We know which one it is. We'll have the weight and everything on it. And then of course all of our microchips set up. I may show you this in a previous video. It's very simple. You just pinch them right here under the skin and the neck and then the microchip up. Sorry, let's take this off. Just right in the skin and then squirt it in. And then we've got our reader. That's the chip number. So he is microchipped and we will do this with every one of them that we put back in. Y'all are falling off. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and then we'll meet you at the uh, river where we're gonna put them in the release cages. Thank you. All right, we've got everybody tagged. We've got all the information logged in. Of course, you can see our tags. Everybody has been uh, verified with the reader that we're good to go. And what this here does is if any of these come back, this will just help us identify which one it was. You know, and we've just got the weight, we've got the girl, boys. There was one girl, four boys. These are all Penelope, so we get a mark P1 through P5. That's their chip ID. What this does, if any of them comes back and need a help, we will know when they were released, even if it's six months from now. We'll know when they were released. We can tell what the weight was, boy, girl. So that way, if we do something that we could do better, we've actually got tracking on it. So this can help us adjust our protocols for release and all of that. So that's it, headed down the creek. All right, we're down here at our beautiful possum paradise where we do our releases. So what will happen is they'll stay in this cage for a few days, that way they can kind of get, and we've had them outside, but not in this area outside. So this will give them an opportunity to kind of adjust and all that. We have a nice little river there and then we keep food along the creek for them. So Penelope, her babies are ready to go. All right, babies. I don't want to reach my hand in here because they do bite. They are very wild. We've not had any contact with them other than to feed them here for the past several days. So five healthy babies. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're going to release themselves. That is perfectly fine with me. But I'm going to go ahead and shut this cage because this does give them some protection if they need to come back and forth for predators. This cage is very heavy. It's a handmade cage that was donated to us by another rescue. I don't even know where in the world I would get another one. I've had several people ask, but it's uh, it's been a game changer for us down here to give them just a little bit of sanctuary and a safe place to come back and forth. So that is it. And like I said, the bars on this are big enough for them to come in and out if they please, but they keep food and all that. And if they do need to escape from a predator, they can go right back in their little house, which they've been kind of used to. So that is it. Everybody say goodbye to Penelope's babies. And like I said, they've been microchipped. They're good and healthy and they will have a great happy life here.